Where is everybody? A question frequently asked by improv troupes, polka bands, and the producers of Movie 43. But in 1950, it was also asked by Italian physicist Enrico Fermi. Fermi was walking to lunch with colleagues Emil Konopinski, Herbert York, and Edward Teller. The men discussed recent UFO sightings. Fermi felt that the universe is old, the universe is big, so where is everybody? The Fermi paradox says the apparent size and age of the universe suggests that many technologically advanced extraterrestrial civilizations ought to exist. However, this hypothesis seems inconsistent with the lack of observational evidence to support it. He did more than just create atomic bombs. Three possible answers to Fermi's paradox. One, they are here. Two, they exist but have not yet communicated. And three, they do not exist. Have you ever heard the saying, keep all your money in a big brown bag inside the zoo? Well, there's a theory that we are the zoo, us, the Earth, and that we are kept here by the aliens. Seriously though, I'm not talking brain and vat per se, nor is there any need to consider us captive. They could be more like neighbors that are just here amongst us. Or that they were here and left evidence, but we don't have any evidence. And so some think we're the aliens, which would absolutely explain Gary Busey. They exist, but have not yet communicated. Maybe they haven't had time, people get busy. Or perhaps they're unable. Maybe they have no interest in talking to us. Don't take it personally. Perhaps they are sending us messages that we don't understand. Perhaps other civilizations eventually wiped each other out. Catastrophes, particle physics, nanobots, the cancellation of Twinkies. Or they do not exist. Maybe we're the first ever advanced civilization. Us? The people who invented stuffed crust pizza? Perhaps life really is rare. A decade after Fermi got curious on the way to lunch, physicist Frank Drake, I didn't know what he looked like, so, got curious as well. He tried to come up with an equation that would calculate the probability of life existing elsewhere in the universe. He used such variables as the rate at which stars form, how many have planets, how many of those planets would be habitable, how many habitable planets could develop intelligent life, capable of sending our interstellar messages, and how long these chatty civilizations would last. Drake himself said that his equation was unlikely to solve the Fermi paradox, but was more of a way to organize our ignorance. So what do you think? Are they out there? Have they been here? Are they here? Now? Have they ever existed at all? Or some other scenario? From New York City, I'm Kagan, and this is Rocket Boom.